All right, let's go right now to Action News reporter Julie Bonner. is standing by live at Detroit's receiving hospital. Stephen and Carolyn, seven people were transported here from the crash. One person was discharged. I spoke with one of the physicians about an hour and a half ago, and he updated me on their conditions. One is in critical condition uh, that's actually in the operating room right now. Two are in serious condition, uh, facial trauma, and another serious condition that has pelvic trauma. Um, and the others were uh, actually fair, and one is going to be discharged home. Um, and when you say critical and in the operating, I mean, is there, are these life-threatening injuries? Yes, absolutely. Are you able to elaborate on that at all? Head trauma, uh, there was some bleeding in the brain, uh, and they're going to the OR to try and decompress that. Dr. O'Neill tells me that's about a two-hour surgery, so that person should be coming out of the operating room any time now. Now, Children's Hospital, which is right next door, they've confirmed for me tonight that they do have a patient from the crash as well, a child who has been admitted there tonight. So, again, it's been a long day for both doctors and families who have come here to the hospital. Live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, back to you guys. Yeah, Julie, any indication whether everybody's staying overnight, anybody getting released anytime soon that we know of? Well, the doctor does some, tell me that a couple of the patients that are in fair condition, they may go home tonight or they may be kept overnight for observation just because of how serious this was. But he also says that to the people in serious condition, they've already been scheduled for surgeries tomorrow. All right, we'll keep uh, track of this story and obviously the, the human toll on what happened out there today. Julie, thank you.